welcome to Gemstone Tarot. This is your daily tarot for Monday, 3rd of December 2018. Okay, we made it out of November. We made it out of the otter's pocket, which is November. Woohoo! And here we are, December, last month of 2018. How is it going for you? Let me smooth out my cloth. That sounds a bit ominous, doesn't it? Let me smooth out my cloth. Okay. Let's have a looky-see. Wow, okay, let's just block that out. Let's block out that sun. How are you all doing? Leave me a comment. Let me know. Have you checked out your December readings yet? They are all up on the channel and they were up in a timely fashion. I feel quite good about that. I do. Oops. I'm using my Greek tarot, mythic tarot, a good old classic favourite of mine. Very nice. Very nice. Ooh. I think I will do a pick a card reading for 2019 as well. So have a look, that will be up at some point. God, this is good. Whew. Okay. As we enter into December you may be feeling a bit as they say below par maybe just a bit kind of like that you know whatever the word is for that feeling but it feels like it's kind of nice it feels like it's a pause a pause between acts you know like you get like an interval feels like an interval the bottom here, I've got strength in the reverse. Whoop. Now this is the card for Leo normally, strength in the reverse. And I have to say, I don't know why, and this is just like a total hunch, but I have a feeling that what goes on as this week kicks off in December has a bearing on what goes on in the eclipse in Leo on the 21st of January or around then. Dates are all approximate, people. I just have a feeling that it relates to that, okay? So we may be feeling tired, but maybe in a nice kind of a way. Lazy, you know, lions have that thing where they like to... They like to lie in the kind of sun. I think they like to lie in the sun. You know I'm terrible with animals, but they like to, they can do the hunting and the business when they need to do the business, but they're also good at just like, hmm, I'm here, I'm the lion. You know, it's that kind of feeling and I quite like it. Also, there is a sense of release with the Eight of Swords in reverse. Being set free from the Furies, the snaky head ladies. They are quite frightening, aren't they? And they always come in threes, don't they? Like the three witches from Macbeth and the three furies. It's a triangulation, I suppose. But this is in the reverse. I think it's Jupiter and Gemini, this card. And when it goes into reverse, the swords can drop out and it just feels, you feel kind of loosey-goosey. But sometimes, after you've had quite a lot on your plate, November was a tense for me with Venus retrograde it was a tense month it was quite um grr you know it felt a bit grr once that passes sometimes that's when you just feel really like <sighs> like that just really tired but actually tiredness can bring a zen I've got the four of swords moon and libra zen 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 you know feeling kind of punch drunk and nice over here, some clarity at last. Ella James, I think. Is it Ella James? I think so, at last. You know, we've talked about that before. It comes in. It's really in my head right now. I want to sing it, but I'm not going to. I can't compete for a second on that front. Ace of Swords. Athene with an oversized sword, which is actually, I think, bigger than she is. Or maybe the same size. I mean, that woman can wield a sword. She's got her fancy headgear on because she rules intelligence and strategy. And in this case, the Ace of Swords, shwing, 
like that just goes straight up through all the stuff and says, ha ha, it's an aha card. It's clarity starting to come in. It's an ace. So I feel again, like it lasts, it goes into a year. For me, aces are kind of years. They're a longer term energy and they're almost a bridge between the minor arcana and the major arcana for me. I like aces a lot. And then she is cutting straight to the Five of Cups, Eros and Psyche and the conjugal couch. I love, I want a conjugal couch and I want it to be velvet and I want it to look just like that. And actually I think electric blue is a good colour too. I know. And all of you more practical people are thinking, well, that wouldn't sponge very well. <laughs> Hey, it's decadence, isn't it? Dry clean only conjugal couch. Now that, my friends, is decadence. So here we are with Eros and Psyche and Eros is running off into the night and Psyche wants to chase him with her lamp. This is about some kind of emotional letting go of something. But it feels like we're getting a handle on it with the Ace of Swords running straight into it. It feels like it's becoming clear why it happened why it needed to happen and how it could be resolved or how it could be let go one way or the other and again over here the page of swords into assist I love this picture I really like this card I like the clarity of and the feeling that I get of the air above those mountains and also just the message of it it's a kind of an air sign message we do have four swords cards so some of you may be dealing with an air sign in relationship at work or in family or wherever it is but also air signs of course representing thoughts and strategy and the way things are delivered and the way things communicate and travel and we are still in mercury retrograde although it's you know tantalizingly coming to that point where it starts to go direct on the 6th, but you know, there is a shadow period. And I just feel like at last, you know, if you have, for some of you, I feel like this is to do with a family situation, maybe a family of five characters. And there is some information you've been waiting for. For some, it could be inheritance again or secrets you know again kind of feel the outcome of this properly these aces because hey i can say aces because we have two aces in the reading i'll show you the other one in a minute i feel like the outcome of this pops out in january after we move into capricorn and when we have the eclipses in capricorn ace of pentacles poseidon he dives down and he brings out a massive pentacle. I love this version of it because it's got a fish's tail in it. I know. Any excuse, isn't it, to get a fish's tail in things? Also, for me, this particular Ace of Pentacles has a slightly more creative feel about it because it takes the earthy pentacle and it fishes it out of a body of water and there is that fish's tail and the grapes and it just feels a little bit more like it swam from the subconscious. For those of you thinking of starting a business in 2018, yes, it could be to do with that. Now I'm going to take one herbal tarot because I want it. And note as well with the herbal tarot, some people are asking me about the herbs. You know, I'm definitely not a herbalist, as you probably realise if you watch this often enough. I can barely spell them or pronounce them. I am interested in them. If you are interested in taking the herbs, finding the herbs, which I am as well, get medical advice or whatever herbalists, you know, see an expert. Because I was only reading actually yesterday about people taking green tea capsules and getting like liver damage and stuff so herbs are actually very potent which i think is exciting but also yeah treat with caution oh you piglet <laughs> i'm not supposed to say that am i as a tarot reader you piglet <laughs> i love pigs i'm just gonna put that out there oh god okay 
Knight of Swords in reverse. You know, you can't have a reading that promises utter clarity when Mercury's retrograde. There is still some part of it that is not quite clear. The page, of course, is not as evolved as the knight. So you have the initial freshness of something, but it just, at some second stage, it just is slightly, you know, iffy. Oh, we haven't had this one for ages. Oracle card, milk and honey. Elephants swimming in milk. Love that. I see that as January though. I do, very strongly. Let's have a healing with the angels. Oracle card. Oh yes, that's very nice too. Emerging. Yes, indeedy. So if you want a private reading, you can book in the description. Please do subscribe to the channel and make sure you've hit the bell so you get notifications on the random times that I do go live, which I'm hoping to do a bit more of, but usually I am very random about it. It's just, ooh, I'm gonna go live. Ding, ling, ling. So you should get a little notification for that. Check out my pick a card readings and your December readings and I'll see you soon. Namaste.